Just get whatever paperwork you need to get my brother into that trial. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we'll be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Episode 1, and we will be talking about the exclusive clip with Davis McLean trying to get help for his brother Theo. He's, you know, very sick. We're going to talk about that in this breakdown video. And if you haven't seen my prior video, check out the breakdown video that I did between Monet and Diana. And of course, Monet and Lorenzo. They released about four clips yesterday. And if you want to see those clips, check out my channel, my recent uploads. That way you can catch up on the content and also check out the Power Book 2 Ghosts Season 3, Episode 1, What to Expect video. That way you can be more up to date on what's going to happen in this very first episode. And we will talk about the next exclusive clip and that's between the Tejada family. I will break that down in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But man, let's talk about your boy Davis McLean. We already knew Theo was sick from last season. He kind of hinted at it. And now we find out what's going on with him. Now Davis McLean is talking to this doctor and it seems like Theo has hepatitis B and I believe he said D or whatever. And it's messing his liver up, you know what I'm saying? And he's talking about he got about six months maybe a year. I mean, it's pretty much over for him. He's ineligible for a new liver transplant. So he is screwed all the way across the board. Now, if Davis McLean never mentioned a new drug, this doctor probably would have never said anything. Now, I'm glad he said that because the guy is telling him it is a new drug that they got. You know, they want to test it out. You know, they're going to be starting a trial very soon. And maybe Theo can be a part of it. But the only problem is he's locked up. He has to be released. So this is even more pressure on Davis McLean to get his brother out in order for him to live, in order for him to even have a chance to live because hell, they don't know if this trial drug is going to work right, but Davis McLean is going to fight in order for that to happen, in order for Theo to even have a chance, which means what? It means that he's going to put even more pressure on your boy Cooper Sacks, who we know has made a deal with Jenny Sullivan. So that is just flat out dangerous, right? Because Cooper Sacks is going to be busy giving intel to her, trying to take down the Tejada family, trying to find out what happened to Lauren, pretty much risking his life doing this. And we know Cooper Sacks is going to mess around and get caught up, messing around with Jenny Sullivan, playing both sides of the field. Like, are you crazy? Like he really wants to catch the criminal. Like you had a choice and it seems like you want to continue to do what you've been doing in the past. And we all know what that is. Take L's. That's all he's been doing since the very beginning of the whole power series, taking L's each and every season. And that's what he's going to do this season. Take another L. That's my prediction for him. But what y'all think Davis McLean is going to do when he finds out about what Cooper Sacks is really on? I mean, he really needs his help because he knows Cooper Sacks is the key to getting his brother out. The crazy thing is Cooper Sacks already knows that Theo did not commit this crime. He knows it was somebody else. He told him this last season and Cooper Sacks is going to find out that Davis McLean was the one that did this. And when he finds out and if Davis McLean knows this, what's going to happen then? Especially if Cooper Sacks is thinking about using this against him. I mean, Davis McLean is going to have to go back to his old ways he is going to have to get illegal. I mean, I know he beats everybody within the system the legal way, but if Cooper Sacks is a threat to him, he's going to do what he has to do to protect himself and eliminate Cooper Sacks by any means necessary. That's what I am thinking. Y'all can let me know. I mean, hopefully Theo is able to get out, but from the looks of it, even if he does, he has pretty much a 50-50 chance with this trial drug. Now, I don't want to see Red Man die like that. I mean, if he is to get out, I don't want to see him, you know, just go away that quick. I want to see the interaction between the two brothers. That will be great. That will be good TV, just like Monet doing business with Davis McLean. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, if Theo is to die, Davis McLean is going to flip. He is going to go to a whole different zone. It is not going to be pretty for anybody. We know in some of these trailers, we're seeing him going off, throwing stuff around. And I'm pretty sure it's because... It's about his brother. I mean, or it can be about something else. We know he will be doing business with Monet Tejada and he will be helping out Tariq as well. So it can be all types of stuff. 
But we're going to find out very, very soon. Now, we'll be breaking down the clip between the Tejada family on the next video. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. And I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.